Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosler. I want to record a video today about the Canon XA40 Pro Camcorder. Now what I'm doing with these videos, I'm learning to use this camera. I've had it for a few weeks. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, huge upgrade on the consumer camera I'm recording this video on. Nevertheless, uh, there are some things that are a little bit confusing about it and as I make mistakes, I am putting up these videos to try help other people uh, show what I did wrong. So here's what went wrong last night. I went to shoot a few videos um, and I used an XLR reporter's microphone. So I go into my editing software, Caden Live, and I'm like, hey, there's only one channel. There's only a right channel audio showing up. And I used a, that shouldn't happen in any event, right? I used, it doesn't matter if it's a mono or stereo microphone, I think, um, but you should have audio on both channels left and right. So uh, what went wrong is as follows. So let's firstly talk about the XLR audio uh, features on this camera. So on the top handle, you have two XLR ports and they're labeled input one and input two. It's really worth remembering. Um, I'm always gonna, I always connect them sequentially. So I'm always putting, I'm, I've never used, I don't think I'm ever gonna be using two uh, XLR mics simultaneously. So I'm just remembering input one is the one towards the lens and input one is the one back from the lens. Now on the other side of the top handle on your control panel you have here uh, your controls for there's firstly an on off switch and that's actually relevant to uh, both of the XLRs and then you have gain trims for each one separately and then you have this little toggle that's going to toggle you between your 48 volts regular and that's line in if you're using a pre-mix signal and this is labeled input one, input two. So if you want to just remember, input one is towards the lens and input one is towards the top. Um, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and connect a microphone, an XLR microphone I'm using today. It doesn't really matter what I'm using for a demo, but I'm just using a uh, Comica, if I can get the table cable untangled, I'm using a Comica uh, XLR microphone, right? So I'm going to just put the camera down momentarily while I go and jam this into the, there we go. All right, so now I have my lavalier microphone uh, connected into input one. Now let's just check out the menus and you can see what I did wrong yesterday. Okay, it's just gonna take us a second. Alrighty, so why are we not, why are we not getting levels? Ah, oh, we are. So firstly, you want to just set this up right, so I'm just going to make sure I'm using 48 volts of uh, phantom power. I'm going to open up the hood here, and I'm going to use auto gain control for this particular uh, experiment. So, mic's connected to input 1, I've, whoops, <laughs> okay, I've now changed the, uh, I've, I've now moved that from off to on, and I'm using 48 volts by moving, by adjusting this to the right. Okay, so we can see our levels are predictably uh, a little bit all over the place because I'm really, really up close, but I'm just going to make sure this is coming from the lav. Yep, as I'm tapping the lavalier microphone, you can see that those levels are jumping. Now, let's get, let's get to the point of this. Here's what you want to go and do. You want to go into your menu and you want to jump over to audio. First thing you're going to see in your audio, you've got three tabs in audio and the first tab says channel to input and this is where I went wrong. But I think by default it's set to input two and when it's set to input two, that means that you're going to be opening up two channels and each XLR port is going to be writing to its own channel. Therefore, even if you've got a stereo microphone, it's going to be writing onto just one of those channels. So what you want to do is, this is like routing. Channel 2 input is going to be also coming from input 1, okay? So our input 1, just think about this logically, is going to left channel, right channel. X out of it, and now you can see, I'm just kind of trying to get up to the meter here, you can see that the microphone uh, is both levels, and you can actually tell that it's a stereo mic, I think, because they're not perfectly in sync, but whatever. Now watch what's going to happen if I do as follows, I'm going to click on menu, I'm going to go into, and by the way, this menu will only light up when you've got the mic connected. I'm going to go channel 2 input, and I'm going to put this on to input 2, input 2. And now look at what's happened to our level meter. There's nothing on channel 2, and channel 1 is recording. Now, if I recorded like this, and I didn't so, if somehow forgot to pay attention to looking at the level meter, 
what's going to happen is I'm going to go into my editing software like I just did and I'm going to find that uh, it's there's nothing on the right channel you can fix that in post but you know why put yourself to the trouble now I flipped it back and now we're getting our levels on channel 1 and channel 2 there you go that's pretty much all you need to know so just remember I'm going to turn off the camera now input 1 is the input towards the lens side of the top handle and on the control panel channel 1 is the one at the top and channel 2 is the one at the bottom make sure if you're using XLR audio that this is set to on if you want to use automatic gain control over on the right if you want to swap, swap to manual move that over to the left and then you use this uh, little gain trim to control the levels manually and then finally you've got your 48 volt phantom power or regular microphone or premix line in on the right and I think that's pretty much all there is to say on the matter hope this was a use to somebody if you want to get more, more videos from me please subscribe to this YouTube channel